Over the past couple of months, there's been a lot of speculation about a potential shakeup at the top of LIV Golf, especially in Greg Norman's position. But even though we've finally got people going in and out of the revolving door, the Australian legend isn't one of them. In today's video, we're going to talk about a major exit from the Breakaway Golf League, a new leadership trio, and more. So keep watching. First up, Norman retains his role as the COO steps down. Greg Norman is the gift that keeps on giving. The man somehow manages to shove his way into the headlines, even when he's got no intention of doing so. Take the past few months, for example. What have we been hearing from literally every single person on the PGA Tour? Norman's gotta go. But, turns out Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy aren't gonna get their Christmas wish fulfilled this year. Cause the man is here to stay. And it's someone else who's been sacrificed to prolong his stay. Alright, that's perhaps a bit too dramatic. The bottom line, however, is that the chief operating officer of LIV Golf, Atul Kasla, has left the building. And now, with all the reins in Norman's hand, we're getting three more people to help him run the show. We'll get to those in just a moment. But first, let's talk about Kosla. Obviously, most people think that the Aussie legend was the guy in charge of the league's day-to-day -day operations. But in reality, it was Kosla. In fact, the 67-year-old's job has been pretty limited so far, as he's been convincing players to sign for him for the most part. Oh, and yeah, he's the public mouthpiece for the organization, too. Don't get us wrong. He's done an absolutely incredible job ever since he stepped into the upstairs circuit. It's just that if you actually wanted to talk to the guy who was making the gears spin, you'd have to go to Atul. Up next, LIV's leadership structure is about to change. Now, just in case you're wondering, no, Kosla didn't have a fight or anything like that. As a matter of fact, most reports say that he's actually left the league on pretty good terms and might even come back in the future if they desperately need him for something. Why leave in the first place, though? Especially when LIV is literally about to kick into full gear. You see, that's exactly why he's leaving. If you didn't already know, the sports business veteran left the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in January to join the Breakaway League. And, in just under 12 months, he's done more than what was asked of him. Essentially, his role was to guide the organization into a position that would allow them to successfully implement the quote-unquote franchise model heading into the next season. After all, he did have plenty of experience with the model after spending years in the NFL. So, now that everything's set up for them to go full steam ahead, it's also time for him to step down. That being said, he still leaves a big hole behind, and someone's gotta run day-to-day -day operations. And while Norman's definitely a guy you can rely on, we're sure he's currently dealing with other, more pressing matters. As a result, we're gonna see a bit of a shakeup in the structure of LIV Golf's operational team, as a trio of executives at the international golf consulting firm, Performance 54, are joining the team full-time to run the show. Now for the new leaders of LIV Golf. Let's talk about the new people running the show now. Turns out, they're not new at all. In fact, they They've been here all along fueling the train as it moves along. It's just that now, they're in the driving seat. Yep, we're talking about Gary Davidson, Richard Marsh, and Jed Moore, the three people who've been instrumental in making LIV Golf an unrelenting force in the sport. And now, they're going to be helping Greg Norman with the daily operations. How were they helping before they got this new role, though? Well, for one, they're executives at Performance 54 and helped secure billions of dollars in funding from the Saudi Public Investment Fund program to launch the Breakaway League. Yeah, the same fund that's been pouring a ton of cash into the circuit. In a way, you could say that the Saudi-funded league could have been a barely-funded league had they not done the legwork back then. Not to mention, they've also been extremely crucial in terms of developing some key aspects of the competition. So, they've got plenty of experience and know the ins and outs of the league, meaning they won't take any time to adjust to their new role. Besides, with Greg Norman focusing on other aspects, like securing a media deal or signing more top players, they're the perfect fit to run the league as it kicks into top gear and launches its franchise model in 2023. What's more, LIV's off-season is super eventful. There aren't many big golfing tournaments going on right now, as we're officially in the period of calm before the storm. But, while things are rather quiet on the PGA Tour's side, LIV Golf is still going full steam ahead with its preparations for next season. For instance, most of their energy and focus is currently diverted towards securing a media rights deal in the U.S., which would help them establish a decent revenue stream to offset their massive costs. Also, in spite of the fact that we've been hearing all these reports about how NBC, Netflix, or other sports networks have rejected them, Norman says that's not the case at all. Instead, he's pretty optimistic about the whole thing sorting itself out before the first event of next season. And according to him, it's just a matter of figuring out the details because a lot of parties are interested in the product they've built. Other than that, they're also currently involved in two different legal battles against the PGA Tour, a lawsuit that was filed by their own members, and a separate investigation by the Department of Justice into the tour.
tour. Oh, and even though the lawsuit won't officially commence until 2024, we've already had some spicy revelations, including the fact that the PGA and a PR firm apparently funded a 9-11 protest group to detail LIV events. So yeah, this feud isn't dying anytime soon. Not to mention, Norman is still on the hunt for new players. As we've mentioned earlier, the Australian was never the guy to run the daily operations of LIV golf. Sure, he's the CEO and everything. He's not the commissioner per se. Oh, and a recent report suggested that he doesn't even have the title of a commissioner either. Still, it seems like the arrival of the three new executives would help him redistribute his workload even more. After all, the league is replacing one guy with three new candidates. So now, Norman's going to go back to doing what he does best, attracting talent. Yep, it looks like the great white shark has sniffed blood in the ranks of the PGA Tour once again, because it's heading straight for them. Also, remember how Norman said he wants to sign at least seven more players earlier this year? Well, his dream could soon easily turn into reality because according to the rumor mill, we're seeing a lot of movement in the space and new deals could be announced very soon. What's more, the 67-year-old recently went as far as to say that even players like Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth, and Justin Thomas are welcome in his league. Speaking with Bunkard, he said that LIV exists for the players so they'll always have an open door for anyone who wants to join. Honestly, we get why he's so good at attracting talent. The man knows how to talk. Moving on, Anirban Lahiri doesn't like LIV players' treatment by everyone else. Now, even though LIV's been pretty successful during its inaugural season, there is still one very big reason why players may not want to join it. Everyone attached to the league gets a bad rep. Seriously, whether you're a super well-liked player like Cameron Smith or Phil Mickelson, the media and people in more mainstream golfing spheres like, say, the PGA Tour, are going to launch a barrage of attacks on you. And well, Anirban Lahiri who signed back in August, has had enough. Speaking to sports star at SSP Charasia Invitational in Calcutta, he said that LIV Golf has been very black and white with what they're trying to do. For instance, they've got a new format, which is a big change for many people. And the thing is that people are just afraid of change because nobody loves disruption. So according to the Indian golfer, there's been a lot of negativity around the league just due to the fact that it's different. What's more, he also talked about how he almost feels a bit ostracized being a part of LIV. Like, sure, there's some valid criticism that he understands, but there's a lot of random nonsense flying out there too. Not to mention, nobody wants to talk about these personal attacks from the other side either, because then the media comes across as biased. So for Lahiri, all of it is just a bit unfair to all LIV golfers, who are just trying to play the sport they love. Finally, Lahiri believes that golf is in a transition phase. To be fair, the LIV golfer does have a point, because we're seeing a lot of new stuff enter into the fray, like the league's franchise model. And, perhaps Perhaps change is the reason why everyone's afraid. What's more, Lahiri believes that golf is in a transition phase right now, so everyone needs to be patient and mature in how they handle the situation. For him, we've got to be receptive to all parties' opinions, including the stakeholders, the fans, the players, and the organizations. He compared the situation to cricket and talked about how everyone was up in arms when the T20 format was introduced, saying how it was not the real game. But it only took four to five years for everyone to fall in love with the shorter format. So he thinks the same will happen with LIV Golf too, as more people start to embrace this change and be more open to it. After all, some of the breakaway league events have been very impressive. Not to mention, they take good care of their players too. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think people are perhaps a bit too harsh on LIV Golf members? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.